ladies and gentlemen. It is with joy in my heart that I speak here today in this chapel that is so full of our shared history and friendship. A friendship wonderfully displayed at the altar in the coat of arms of Queen Catherine of Braganza, wife of King Charles II. Portugal UK's 50 celebrations were launched in this beautiful chapel in 2019 with the aim of <coughs> celebrating and promoting our common history, writing new chapters of friendship and cooperation, undertaking scholarly research on the Alliance and promoting the founding values of the Alliance, mentioned in Article 1 of the Treaty of 1373. The values of peace, friendship, truth, faithfulness, constancy, sincerity, kindness, and solidarity. Since then, we have organized more than 300 activities and projects in both countries, in collaboration with 210 institutions, reaching millions of people. The program has been diverse and inclusive for all ages from preschool onwards, centralized from our respective capitals and free of charge. I sincerely believe that we have fulfilled all the objectives we set ourselves. We have established long-term legacy projects and collaborations that will cement the bonds of friendship between the citizens of both our nations, ensuring that the Anglo Portuguese Alliance, the oldest alliance still in existence, continues to thrive. I want to warmly thank all who have contributed to these celebrations. The 1,500 artists that participated in our 57 performances and arts projects. The 240 researchers and speakers involved in our academic programs, to our 210 partner institutions, to the hundreds of volunteers, to the royal household, and to the chapel royal who have worked with us with such kindness. Some are here today and will continue to be ambassadors of our alliance going forward promote a culture of peace and friendship between our nations and from generation to generation. And I wish to record our profound gratitude to our patrons, His Majesty the King and His Excellency the President of Portugal, for their support, which has provided much encouragement to us all. Thank you, Your Majesty, for the guidance that you have. And to conclude, it seems appropriate to share with everyone present a joint blessing given by the Archbishop of Canterbury and Pope Francis to Portugal UK City for his anniversary. May this special blessing of God's peace and love be granted to us all and to our nation.